What's up guys, welcome back to our Team Solomon Circus live video. Today we're going over two very different decks. We're going over Numelia here on the left side. This is one of Todd's little fun decks, you know, wacky Wednesdays if you will. And on the right side we have Thomas playing Cherelements here, you know, winning the regionals with the Cherelements deck. Um, and Todd's on a rampage with this Numelia deck. I really wanted to feature it here. Um, I don't know how good it is, you know, it is pretty wacky, but uh... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before we dive in, over to like, comment, subscribe. I know Todd's Hill will give us a deck profile pretty soon. I know they're getting a new card in Age of Overlords, which is a continuous spell, or continuous trap, which is Repet, um, when you get to add one from your graver to your hand, and then like you can half your damage, stuff like that. We're going to be seeing Tier, and we choose to go first here. And we're going to be seeing them start off with a Foolish Burial, a crazy card for the deck. You know, dumping in a Gito, which is going to let us both mill five here. Five shots to hit. We see a two imperms, two eaters, and then one of the trap cards there that makes them change a, uh, attack and defense. And we see a Sulik, a planet, a Mali, a Druish worm, and a Trivi Karma here. Pretty nice to have in the graveyard. We're going to see them activate the effect of the trap. Sulik, I believe. And they're going to chain Trivi Karma as well to search. Which can add us either, yeah, so we're at the planet here, and then we're going to be searching for the Sharn. One of the best cards, you know, to search. Then we're going to activate the effect of Sharn, hitting the beast, and then we're going to mill three. Hitting the second uh, Mali here. And then we have to draw one off of the um, beast that we ended up hitting. So pretty much hitting nothing off the Shiren there. Then we're going to normal something with the Rhino here with the Ulti Swirls. Beautiful card. That's going to search us for a Havness, or I guess dumps the Havness. And then Havness effect will be able to put back itself and the Druish Swarm. Or putting itself in the Mali packs. Choosing to put the Mali so they can get the Mali effect here. Going for a Muddy Mud Dragon. And then we're going to be able to overlay here for a copy of Bahamut Shark. Act with Bahamut Shark. Discard. Or detach, not discard. The summon out the totally awesome here. So making an Omni Negate onto the field there. Before we activate our planet. We're going to actually activate the tier cash first. Banishing the trap card. Summon itself out. It's going to let us a mill three here. We do hit a Rhino Heart. And then a Nessie as well as the Heartbeat. We're going to add back the trap there. Then we're going to be linking two away for a copy of Cross Sheep. Setting one, activating the planet here. Planets can search us for a copy of the... We've already normal summoned there, so I guess we're probably searching for the Havness. Searching for a rhino. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe for the trap. Then we're activating Mothman here. Okay. Hitting the Mothman. That is so unfortunate. Um, we could activate the effect making both players draw and then discard, but. They're not going to activate the effect. They're going to pass turn on this. So we're going to see them start off with an Extravagance. I'm trying to banish six here. I don't believe it matters. And they're going to draw two. They're going to activate the one that's called the, uh, the Dreaming Tower. It's going to banish two right here and then adds two level 10 beasts, um, which is so funny here. Going to be adding the Ravel, which is the ice cream cone one. And I think it's adding the uh, the Coolette, which is the like whipping cream. We 
We're going to summon out the Fenrir here. We've got to have some way of interrupting cards, you know. Then we're going to activate the effect of the Ice Cream Cone. Uh, you can banish three face down from your extra deck, summon himself out. We're going to meet. Going to activate the Sullic here negating the Fenrir, I believe. And then we're going to be putting back the Shiren and the uh, Shiren and a well, Aqua as well as the Kaleido Heart to go for the Kaleido Heart. I guess returning Rhino Heart for a Kaleido Heart. And then we're going to activate the effects here. Shuffling back and popping. Popping the Fenrir, shuffling back the uh, whatever it's called. And then we can summon out the Rhino here. It's going to be dumping the Havness. Havness Vice can then activate here. Putting itself back for a copy of the Winda. I'm going to look in our graveyard see what we got. We do see a Desires as well as a Talents in the hand. We're going to activate Talents to take. They're going to negate that with the Totally Awesome here. And then Toad can add back, adding back the Tear Cash. Then we're actually desires banishing ten to draw two. We do see we drew into the sleepy one, uh, dreaming Numelia. I think we've used all the effects other than tear cash right now, and tear cash won't really do very much for us. I'm going to go normal summon Gren Maju here. And I believe Gren is at like 84. We're going to see them go battle phase. Yeah, I don't even know what they have to do here. That's so funny. They're going to attempt to go tier cash here. Maybe hoping to mill something. Because we have the trap in the graveyard that we can banish to make monsters lose it. They have to pretty much force to get rid of the... Uh, of that uh that cross sheep there. Then it's gonna activate its effects. We're gonna ash that. So now they have nothing in grave. We're gonna battle phase attack into the cross sheep. And then anything during damage step. They're going to activate the trap card, and they're going to take it for game, attacking for 84. Holy, normal summoning Garen and just going OTK here, just with one normal monster. Crazy. When this card came out, I think it was Invasions of Chaos, if I do recall correctly. IOC is when uh, when Garen came out. Um, this card's been around since to dawn of Yu-Gi-Oh here. Still stealing games to this day. Pot of Desires is a crazy card. I remember trying to play a full Gren Maju deck um, a few years ago, and it was it was fun. Um, Desires being an absolute crazy card. Uh, but I never thought I'd be seeing Dreaming Numelia with a Gren tech in there. And I think he's only playing two as well here. Um, but I, that's just that's so funny. This like that. This deck is able to OTK so easily going second. Um, absolutely crazy. I don't know what it really does going first, uh, but it doesn't matter if we are only going second here. Um, I think that maybe it like sets up some 
counter. I don't even know really what it does. I know it plays shifter though. So maybe we'll be seeing shifter going to be going here. We're going to be seeing tier going to be forcing the Numelia player to go first here. So let's see what they have to do. We see the ice cream cone in the hand. As well as the sleepy one, I believe. We're going to activate the sleepy. And this one's pendulum effect is during the main phase, you can place a Numelia. Continuous spell from your deck or graveyard face up onto the field. And then you add it to the extra deck. And then we're going to activate the continuous spell, banishing two cards. Then you get to add two here. Pretty nice. You know, being able to add two cards is very crazy. I certainly do not hope it's a norm. We see it with Big Wing Beckermat and then this card. Um, I don't, I really hope that drawing two cards or adding two cards is not going to be the norm for Yu-Gi-Oh. It's going to get absolutely crazy. We're going to see the Ice Cream Cone going to be banishing three to summon himself out here. Uh, he's pretty big too, if I'm not mistaken. He's at 25 and then uh, you could set one other level 10 beast to the graveyard. Set one Beller Trap directly from the deck. From the hand too, okay. So you could send the trap if you really wanted to. Um, banish three cards, and you can activate the effect either. Add one card, damage take is half. So you could like protect yourself with the repet here with the ice cream cone, which is pretty nice going first. You know, you banish two cards from your extra deck, and then any damage you take is halved during your opponent's turn as long as you control this. Or you can go for the copy of... Uh, the Louvre, which is going to like summon it to protect yourself. And then it bounces back. And they're pretty big monsters. Like I think like we have a 25-25, 25-2000, and then 25-25. Like they're pretty big bodies, as well as the cupcake, which is like 15-3K. So we're going to see them U-set here and then pass, which is not going to be good. This is going to be another OTK here, I believe. Not the greatest from tier. This, this tier performance game, too, is pretty bad. Pretty bad. We're going to see the spell, you know, banishing two to add two again. Summoning out the cup, uh, not the cupcake, but the uh, the whipped cream coulette. And then we're going to be summoning out the chocolate dog, Aurier, which is actually pillow in French, which is like a, you know, <laughs> play on words because it's a sleepy, dreaming Numelia. And we're going to summon out another ice cream cone here. And this is currently... This is currently lethal. This is 10k on board. So we're going to be seeing the Kula attack into the Keldo there. And then we're going to be seeing the Ice Cream attack. For 25. And they're going to be living here with a little bit of life points. You know, leaving them down to 15, I believe. Or, yeah, taking them down to 15. Or 500. No, yeah. It's 500. And they just scoop it up here, realizing they don't have enough. So many spells and traps of the Tyrant player here. So we're going to see a swift 2-0 by Numelia. You know, they did play going first, uh, setting up a little bit of a board, something that wind up, but it's able to OTK real quickly there with the Granite 40 at 84. And then we see them bricking game two, but being able to summon a bunch of monsters just to punch over everything. That uh, was pretty nice. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share. I want to see some more content like this. Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to stay safe. Peace.